We're Gamma Bomb, we're here in London for the first airing of our album, The Terror Tapes, which is out on April 22nd, oh, AFM Records. And uh, this is Joe. Joe? Hi. Hi, and I'm Philly. So we're here to talk some rubbish with you. And we're in the toilets, man. It's the best place ever to talk rubbish. Like, yeah. if you're in the pub, you're in the toilet, you're talking rubbish. It's good. It's terrifying. The title for the tarot tips came from a TV movie called The Norless Tips. And things like that, you know, the Ipcris file, the Odessa file, things like that, you know. Things with cool names. Um, you know, things all sound really mysterious when you add them up in the sort Tape of collective... Tape file, yeah, kind of... files, tips, you know, like, you know, like in Star Wars, they have the missing data tips for the Death Star, like, you know, and then... Darth Vader there, like, you know, his data tips went Don't worry missing. worry about that. Think, think about Cobra. Mm -hmm. Think about... Look at this wee stick. Yeah, that and his tips, you know, he was clearly listening to, uh, what do you call it, dude, who's in all the soundtrack, who is the soundtrack to Cobra? Frank Sloan, his brother? Uh, no, I'm trying to think of the guy who did it. Starship. Star Loving. No. It's saw you out late last night. Oh, Tepper. Like a child Robert Tepper. in the rain. Yeah, Robert Tepper. Anyway, we're getting off <coughs> on topic here. But it, yeah, so the, the, it's inspired by that sort of old school feeling that, you know, a collection of tapes. Yeah. You've got Bob Dylan's basement tapes. You know, you've got uh, all that kind of thing. It's a, it's a forbidden <coughs> dossier of thrash metal. Yeah. How you would describe yeah. it. Basically, it's a lazy ribbon to tie around some rather good songs. <laughs> uh, there were some... There were some challenges to making the album, yes. Fully, fully uh, destroyed his vocal cords. Donald you can destroyed see. his guitar and I, um, I had a violent bout of sickness that affected me for about six months. What was that? Just vomiting when I burrowed up drunk. That was... That yeah. happened. That was probably more to the drink though than the... But that, the, it is an, it's an ailment, look. Called... Too but anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. seriously, uh, Domo broke his, his finger and couldn't play guitar for it. Domo did a very unusual thing. He was putting his trousers show, on. Show, show the lads how you did. Well, he was kind of like, you know when you put your trousers on, you kind of have to poke your clothes down into your trousers. Just like so. Like a very, it's a commonplace thing we all did. Poke, you know, your pants down in there. And as he was doing that, he heard like a snapping sound. And it turned out that a tendon that keeps your... Um, guitar finger going. Guitar playing finger straight was broken so he now had a finger that was like this, he could not make it go like this which doesn't sound like much but when you play lead guitar all the time like Damo does it's not actually that good so he was out for about seven months yeah seven months and he had to go to a physical therapist and then we on our last album did like 200 gigs and at the end of the 200 gigs my voice was completely shot and so I did like <laughs> sort of like, yeah. briefly thinking about getting into death metal but it's terrible so after like after all these gigs, I sounded awful. My voice wouldn't get any better. And then I went to the doctor, and he put a camera up my nose, and he said that I had a lump on my vocal cord, so I had to have surgery to get the, the lump taken off. And that's a year ago now, and I had to go to a speech therapist and learn how to talk, and it was all very the king's speech. Um, and uh, basically, you know, I had to learn how to sing is sort of the upshot. Um, and learning how to sing was good because then I realised I could sing. Uh, sort of. So this <laughs> album is probably the first Gammon Bomb album with singing on it, but it's okay because there's still lots of shouting. Yes. Uh, there's a song on the album called Shitting Yourself to Live, which was written um, by one of the lads, Damu. And it is a list of reasons why you would shit yourself. Because if you think about it really, a lot of things have been done in music, haven't they? You know, there's been a lot of songs about why you fall in love. There's been a lot of songs about why you're maybe angry or sad. Why your baby gone, gone left you. Why your baby done gone left you on the 7.30 train to Tallahassee. There's a lot of those kind of things, but there's never been a song that's a list of reasons why you would, you know, papper your trolleys. Yeah, your trousers. Yeah, your trousers, your under trousers. So that's, that's what this song's about. And I'm sure when people hear it at home, they will shit themselves. I hope. I, I hope the song. I hope that Gambon fans shit themselves. I hope Gambon the fans trolley themselves like real, real good, like real good sun pat. I hope there's sun pat in every gully. This year, 2013, is going to be the sun pat song. 2K13. It's all about shitting yourself. We're actually going to make it cool again. That's why we're hanging about in the toilets right, right now. When you think about it, I'm right. actually going to go into the toilet right now. I'd take a shit in my toilet. He's actually he's like taking a shit right now. Well, while he's live shitting, I'm just going to tell you. But it's like the Sex Pistols, right? The Sex Pistols made spitting and cool. You know, the people used to spit at the gigs and stuff. We're going to make shit and cool. But we would point out we don't want anyone to throw actual feces at us. At no, definitely, definitely not. No, I don't want that to happen no, whatsoever. No, no. And it's not, not shitting yourself, it's shitting in your trousers. Like yeah, shitting in your nothing. trousers. It's not shitting at other people. It's not... This isn't the internet.
Listen, it's the internet, actually. So. <laughs> Shit yourself. <laughs>